It would be like driving through a Tuscan desert in Italy, if, you, if there was such a thing, which there isn't. Nothing like it actually on Earth. It was voted one of the best road trips in Canada by the National Geographic. Highway 97 is one of the longest north to south highways in North America, extending from Weed, California through BC and eventually up to Watson Lake, Yukon. The scenic drive takes you through semi-arid desert and golden grasslands. And of course, if you're in the Okanagan Valley where we were, past plenty of wineries. But this highway is also famous for something else. How many electric vehicle charging stations are there? I've lost count. To be quite honest, I've absolutely lost count. There's more electric vehicle charging than there is gas stations. Highway 97 is actually nicknamed the Electric Highway because there are more than 2,000 electric vehicle charging stations along the route. You don't usually associate a road trip with an electric vehicle. In fact, a recent survey from BC Hydro shows that 70% of residents are hesitant to buy an EV because they're worried it can't travel a long distance. And a classic example of chicken versus egg, without EVs on the road, many Okanagan Valley businesses were reluctant to put in the infrastructure. So one of Sui's residents took it upon himself to get the stations up and running. I worked with uh, two companies, convinced them to actually help subsidize the installation of these pieces of equipment by turning this into a program, a destination program. And there, I figured there was no better destinations than the Okanagan Valley wineries, the hotels, and the golf courses. Now Rob McGregor says the Highway 97 stretch along the Okanagan Valley is home to about 300 charging stations and adds that an EV could explore the region for weeks without having to worry. So we had to check it out for ourselves. There's one. Sure enough, just in the 167 kilometers from Osoyoos to Vernon, we saw about half a dozen of these signs. Rob adds that since the charging stations went up, he's seen about a 10% increase in electric vehicles traveling this route and hopes that the success here will inspire other destinations and governments to do the same.